Mere asset has come up with one more NFO. This is also in US market, but what is the difference between this NFO and the one which was launched in a couple of months ago? Mere asset FANG stocks because they invest only in 10 stocks. Now they are going to invest in 50 stocks. That is a huge difference. So more about that in today's uh, review. Hi, hello. This is Ganesh Sinthuri, your stock market profit coach and author of the book one page mutual fund plan and one page stock market plan so today the topic is all about again the nfo which is mere assert snp 500 top 50 etf and top of uh, fund of fund because both are one is etf and one is fund of fund because through uh, fund of fund you will invest in this etf so th almost like two mutual funds which are going to get launched so let's look at the nfo period the nfo period has already started which is september 1st to september 15 2021 so if you are somebody who is looking at global diversification and huge returns then this fund is for you okay so more about this fund and as we are going to see today and where are they going to invest they are going to invest this etf is going to invest in snp standard for 500 the one of the biggest index in us market in that the top 50 index again in snp 500 the top 50 index that is where they are going to invest this money, our money, if you are investing. Okay. So why this is very significant is that the top 50 companies include semiconductor, energy, technology, financial services, all important sectors, which and the market cap of this, this top 50 companies are almost $23 trillion, which is more than the US GDP and almost eight times of India's GDP as of now. So looking at this point, this kind of uh, growth prospect, if you look at you are going to invest in a bigger large cap companies which has a potential to grow outperform for a very long time this is one of, and it is diversified and it more it's not like if you look at the fang stocks fang mutual fund which came up earlier uh, the fang nyc new york stock exchange the fang stocks this is especially in snp fund the top 50 so it is more diversified and you can look at it's not only technology companies alone so if you are looking at technology companies alone it is like concentrated 10 stocks that is concentrated investing here you're investing across 50 stocks and that too in the us developed market so that is a huge difference with respect to launching this nfo by mary assert at this moment and outperformance you need to acknowledge that they had outperformed nft 50 by 10 percent in the 10 year three year and two year period 10 percent is huge just to think of uh, Outperformance the SP 50, uh, 550 top 50 index has outperformed SP 500 by a huge margin regularly in the last 15 year time period. And this uh, SP uh, 500 top 50 index has outperformed Nifty 50 by uh, again the huge margin of 10%. And you can co consider SP 500 top 50 as the Nifty 50 of US market. So, very simple to understand. So, that is how it's all about. And also this index is a lot, lot better than NASDAQ 100 because this is more diversified and it, is, it has more bigger companies uh, compared to the shorter uh, 100, which is very small and is S&P 500 in that the top 50 companies. Okay. And what is the risk factor of investing in this fund? Because market is at its all time high and that is one point. And also the US market, they are trying to keep it alive. And now the Delta variant is coming up and how the market, uh, US government is going to react to this. And also the Fed ta tapering news, meaning that uh, they are going to uh, take away the lower interest rate regime, which is in the market for more than from 2008 till now, they are, the interest rate is around 0% or less than a percent. And it might change soon because of the inflation and all such data. And that is a huge risk, maybe a huge risk on the stock market. In US index right so this is a huge risk which you should understand because people may go for investing in US stock market because it has outperformed any other market across the world but this is a huge risk which is currently pertaining and who can invest in this kind of an in this kind of scenario because if you already have a huge portfolio uh, in Indian market and you want to diversify and also you're looking at minimum five plus years of investment time period if you have these kind of uh, these kind of the time period and the patience then you can go on invest and also go by SIP because don't go for lump sum investment market as it is high and what if the market US market is declining you never know that is a risk factor I'm telling Indian market at least you know that these companies can come back and all these things but US companies it may take a while it may take certain uh, again it's an index so no need to worry a lot but the point is if you invested and the next six months if market is declining for sure, 
your lump sum investment may be at loss and you should not panic that is the point i'm mentioning so if you're going by sib for sure in the next 3 to 5 years minimum 5 plus years if you held on hold on to your investment it will give you a bigger compounding return than nifty 50 index so uh, can you invest considering all these points go for it if you want a global diversification and let that not be more than 10 to 20% of your entire portfolio so mere asset snp 500 top 50 etf uh, which is an interesting etf uh, considering all these points thank you so much for watching please share this video with your friends so that they can also look at investing in these kind of funds and they can also look at bigger returns compared to indian market returns and this is a small bit of diversification thank you so much please share your review uh, in the comments so that i can share more such videos going forward thank you